Welcome. My name is Mary Novak. I serve as Associate Director for Ignatian Formation at Georgetown's Law Center and School of Continuing Studies. I also serve as Chaplain in Residence at the Law Center and Adjunct Professor of Law. No question, our times are difficult, filled with hardship and loss because of this global pandemic. It is also true that so much good is happening for which we can choose to be grateful. St. Ignatius had a lot to say about gratitude. He made it foundational to the spiritual exercises and the examine, a daily practice we do to probe our consciousness. So why is gratitude so foundational? For Ignatius, it arose directly from his experience of God. When you read Ignatius's autobiography, you see from the very start of his turning toward God, Ignatius experienced God as giving. He once wrote that we will much sooner tire of receiving God's gifts than God does of giving them. Isn't that a striking and at the same time humbling understanding of God that Ignatius had? Gratitude was therefore the totality of the way he related to God. This experience is fundamentally shared by those who practice Ignatian spirituality, and in fact, religious traditions across the world. And that is that God is at work always and everywhere. This is a window into the deepest reality of our spiritual lives. God's unbounded love for us and desire for our response in love to the love revealed in this giving. In the past 50 years, much study has been done about the result of a disposition of gratitude in people, comparing them to their less grateful counterparts. Not surprisingly, those who were grateful tended to experience more positive emotions, enjoy a greater satisfaction in life, and more hope. And they tended to experience less depression, anxiety, and envy. They also tended to be more empathetic, forgiving, helpful, and supportive, as well as less focused on materialistic pursuits than their less grateful counterparts. Don't we need more of all of that in our world today? These research findings reveal what Ignatius learned so long ago, that a grateful stance in life increases our capacity to be people of love people of God. With practice over time, we can grow into a disposition of gratitude, even in the face of hardship and loss. In times like this pandemic, believe me, we can all get bogged down in self-absorption. But this time is also pregnant with such potential. And while that is a reflection for another time, when we live out of gratitude, we more readily see that potential already bursting forth into this reality. So let's practice some gratitude right now. Here's the beginning of my list of people and actions for which I am grateful. Of course, our medical folks, especially those coming out of retirement to serve in this time, those serving in jails and homeless shelters, all at their own risk. Those who serve in grocery stores who are so kind right now and who are making special hours for folks who are more vulnerable. The local DC group that has tracked down sewing machines and are making face masks. The legal nonprofit that is assisting low income workers facing cuts in their income. The young priest who offered his savings online to help anyone who needed it our postal workers who are keeping packages delivered across the country, and here at the Law Center particularly, those amazing people who keep our mail and packages coming through. Those who are keeping our buildings clean, operational and secure, even at their own risk. Our IT folks who keep our systems running, making possible our educational continuity with creative fixes almost daily. 
and the students who keep showing up to our less than perfect classes online. People coming together in new ways, mostly virtual. One student said, I'm finding I am more selfless than I thought I was capable of. And I am grateful for Georgetown University's leaders bringing such integrity and good science to our institutional direction. And I'm grateful for the sun that keeps rising and the flowers that keep blooming. I invite you to make your own list of people and actions for which you are grateful. Cultivating a practice of gratitude helps us see that no matter what, God seems to find us before we get there. Maybe the old Jesuit motto of finding God in all things would better read, being found by God in all things. Please take good care of yourselves and your communities. We need, we need each other more than ever these days. God bless.